channel so today is wash day and I have some new clip-ins from Betterland that I'm installing today so I usually get the 3B 3C ones but I wanted to try out the 3A 3B ones I think I think that's what these are so these are a little bit looser than the ones that I normally get just because sometimes I feel like those are a little bit too tight so I just wanted to see what the looser ones look like matched up against my natural hair so this is what they look like I have one bundle I believe there's seven or eight clips in here I'll open it up and count it for you guys um, but I've already washed my hair I used or I co-washed my hair so I use my lovely bees co-wash this is what I used. I did two washes on my head um, and then after I did that I went in with my lovely bees deep conditioner this is the oh honey moisture mask I let this sit in my hair for about 10 minutes and then I went ahead and rinsed this out as well and then I like to apply my leave-in in the shower I don't know why I just feel like it makes my hair feel super duper soft um, and it absorbs it really really good and I don't have to worry about it like balling up you know sometimes with different products when you mix them together it can create flakes or those little balls if you do your leave-in in the shower it does not do that because it has time to like penetrate and you don't have to worry about it mixing off uh, now if you mix in a cream then you need to test it but um, I went in with my Lovely Bees Leave It Be Leave-In and that's what's in my hair right now. So I did my makeup so I'm going to have to wet my hair a little bit as I'm applying these clips. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Uncle Funky's gel and then this is my Lovely Bees cream that's not out yet y'all. It's still in the works. It's being tested right now for like mold and fungus and all of that stuff all that growth it's being tested so it should be out next year um but yeah i'm gonna go in with this but i do want to co-wash these first Okay, so washed and conditioned, and there's 10 of them. I don't know why I thought it was eight, but there's 10 clips. So I'm going to start in the back and work my way up. And I'm going to braid the back part of my hair and like cross it over so that it's not like hanging. You know, sometimes if you put hair to the front and then you can see your hair stop right here and then the clips be long. So I'm going to braid this back section. My hair is super dry. I need to wet it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to leave this little ducktail um, in a braid just like that and then I'm going to clip my first clip in. Okay, so there's four twos, like four of them that have two clips, but these two are a little bit shorter than these two. Um, and then they have two with three clips. They're about this size. Two with four clips. And then two with five clips. So I'm going to take a little bit of my curl cream and just rub it through the rest at the top, mainly focusing on the middle because that's where I usually put it, I like put the most because it's the driest. Okay, now I can add my first clip. Just add in a little bit of the gel. Okay, 
from wearing V parts and I got frustrated on Christmas and I cut it and I didn't realize how short it would be um, so yeah okay so I have them all in except for one of the small ones it's not the smallest I told y'all it was like two types of smalls this is like the the second to smallest there we go so I have one of those left but this is what it looks like wet I'm gonna diffuse it so I can dry it faster because it's gonna take forever to dry but this is it wet. So we'll see how it dries and if it blends in with my hair. A little bit of my edge control. Okay, so I am all done and I have them all in. Well, except for that one, I don't have that one in. But this is what they look like. The blend is actually really, really good. Even in the middle, like that's the part that I was nervous about. So there are a few pieces that I feel like I should have either like twisted together with the fake hair or I should have did like um, finger coils with so that they will blend better. And because they just always freaking poof. But this is the back. There's like a piece right here, like a piece over here that's kind of poofy. That's my real hair. Um, but other than that, like those little pieces, everything else blends really freaking good. Like, look at that. Super full. I want to say it's about maybe 90, 95% dry. The only place that I still feel like wetness is a little bit in the middle, like deep up in here. Probably because it's just so much hair. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'll have everything down below in the description box. All the products that I use except for the curl cream because y'all know that's not out yet. Um, but all the other products and then the link for the hair. And I believe I have a coupon code for them. So I'll leave that down below as well. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. I'm about to put it half up, half down, kind of. I like really messy. It's using a little rubber band. Oh, I have a robe on because I'm about to film something <laughs> for TikTok. Y'all probably like, how does she change? Or oh, it could be a different day, but it's the same day. That's why I was still slick. Tell me where to go, so I 